lot of money out of space. Yeah, cut drink intro. Just me to your bitch's wife and we just slept. Be broke a brick down, nutty, but that a nigga dust. Don't move too fast on my shoes. Draco bad. All right, good morning. I went to the studio at like one in the morning last night and then slept there um, because it's a quick Uber to uh, the, the airport from the studio, whereas it's a long Uber from my house. So, yeah. Um, it's awesome because we're headed to Chicago for this show with Mesk, Durandal, Rez, Funk Mod, Soul, Rillathon. I think that's everybody on the list. Um, cooler than that is that I get to see my brother today because he lives in Chicago. So he's picking me up from the Chicago airport at 1.30. We're gonna try to have our, uh, you know, he's gonna show me his dorm and the college spot and show me what he's doing up there, which I'm excited about, meet his friends and shit. Um, and then we're gonna go to the show, cause it's 18 plus and usually it's 21 plus, so it's really cool that my little brother gets to come. And I'm stoked. So, we're headed to Chicago right now. Let's do it. Okay, just landed in Chicago, and uh, uh, United sucks. How to turn a three hour flight into a six hour flight with United 101. Um, it's kind of what they do. You get what you pay for, I suppose. But we're here, and I'm stoked. So, my brother should be here, and he's gonna pick me up. And I'm excited to see him and his buddies. Probably go see his dorm room or whatever. I don't know what he's planning. And I need a shower, and then we're gonna hit sound check, some food, whatever. I'm stoked to be here. Let's do it. I pull up, I pull up, I pull up, I hop out with all of the drugs and I pull up. I'm cooking, I'm cooking, I'm whipping, I'm whipping into a rock up, let it lock up. My boys. Yo. I'm so stoked he's here. What up? Alright, so we just got to the campus, motherfucking Hunter, and he's helped me, Brian. And uh, what are we going to do? We're, they're just going to show me around the campus and go get some food, get a good look, go eat. You know, we got a couple hours till sound check, so I'm just kind of going to do my thing. This is like my little bit of chill time that I have before basically going to the venue and then going to the airport right after the venue. So, I'm making the best of it. We're trying now. This is where we get shredded. Hey. <laughs> yeah, it's sick, dude. Yeah. Show us your guns. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and smash, smash that like button because we're at Noodles and Company. Who, who doesn't like carbs? Right, Sound check, 7.30. Sound check's at 7.30, yeah. All right, I look like a fucking ridiculous old man at this college, because I am, but uh, we are in Hunter's like chill zone. I'm actually 24, but I'm 25 in like two weeks, so. Hunt's just had a mom, okay? That's just all we need is just, this is for mom. All this, all this college vlog stuff, this is for mom, so just. Hey, mom. There you go. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm looking for right there. And this is Brian, who he always talks about. Give us a cameo. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't lost an NHL recently. Hunter hasn't? So. Yeah, that's for mom. That's she hasn't been receiving any calls. Because if you lose by five, you have to call your mom. Really? If you lose yeah. by eight, you have to call your dad. If you lose by ten, you have to tell our coach. <laughs> Who's a prick? He has no sense of humor at all. You have to call your mom if you lose. Like, what does that even like? Call. I just played in NHL and got my ass kicked. Oh, I see. <laughs> That's funny. I asked if no one ever beats Jack and I beat him one time. So I called dad to tell him, if you lost in that goddamn game, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> nice. 
I think we made it to the hotel after we fucking literally drove for, what was that, like an hour and 20 minutes of just no reason driving? Yeah, we could have driven for 10 minutes. <laughs> we drove for an hour and 20. Whew. Um, not to name names or anything, but the address was sent very simply. 2200 something. And it didn't say like, there, I guess there's like a 2200 Cherry Lane, like five of those in Chicago or something. Anyways, we're here, so. All of these niggas they hate Try to hide through the gate This is it. This is the venue. We're fucking going in. The fucking bottle kept on falling. I'm picking up every two minutes, 30 bottles. <laughs> that sucks so the I'm bottles? The guy next to him, man. He needs to, uh, That's funny. So we're in this vape shop and it's right next to the venue. And the subwoofers shake the bottles and bongs off of the, uh, <laughs> off the wall. It's so loud. And I'm fucking happy. <laughs> and I'm not happy at all. <laughs> Can you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Yo, so we just walked out of the venue. Well, the vapor shop. It's so funny that happens. Um, we're gonna go get some food. I'm gonna go pick up some batteries I had charging the hotel. And then we're gonna come back and try to catch Jaren set and definitely Steve's. I'm gonna stoke, stoke, stoke. Stokely. <laughs> fucking love Nando's. I hear like, Jack, I'm, I'm talking to you. We ate at Nando's probably like, Six times while I was in the UK. It's super good here. I'm stoked. All right, we made it back to the venue. We got coffees because we were tired as fuck. Now we're trying to get a second wind. The, cr the crazy thing about tonight is that I have to be to the airport at 5:30 in the morning. So we're basically gonna play the show go to the after party, straight from the after party to the airport, straight from the airport to Utah, and then I'll sleep once I get home. No sleep till the tribe house. Nice. <laughs> 